Yeah, it was just off. Uh, I got leading more inside on that one. Uh, he wrapped it back perfectly, and I tried to put it right on the outside out of the backer. And it ended up going a little bit high for me, you know, and uh, it, it's just unfortunate the way it played out. When you, when you called timeout, um, or Tedford called timeout on, on the fourth and one mm -hmm. play late, and you went over there, did any of you guys on offense try to talk him out of it or, or not? No, I mean, playing a great team, you know. You can't force to turn the ball over in any situation. Uh, you know, we believe in Vance, you know, he did a good job there. So, uh, you know, he did a great job today. Just unfortunate the way he played out for him. Would you have preferred to go for it? Uh, that's the coach's decision. I don't want to hurt you over any day. Uh, I believe he makes the right decisions. You know, and that was a great decision by him. Just unfortunate the way he played out. Zach, it seemed like Ohio State looks more today than they had in the past. And did that take you all by surprise, particularly early in the game? And how did you guys adjust to that? Uh, you know, it, it was the, you know, they, they haven't shown much on film, like you said. Uh, they blessed a lot of this game and trying to pressure us, you know, and, that, and, that, and that's huge. You know, we have a lot, a couple of go long as well. And their D line is pretty, is pretty effective, you know. They like to get to the ball, strong guys. They, I guess they figured they could push us back and put pressure on me that I do an off ball. But, you know, I hit almost every high they run, uh, and they stopped pressuring as much, you know. And, uh, that forced them to drop back. So, you know, we, had, we just had to make more plays. What uh, accounted for the efficiency of the offense and also the, the production uh, in this game as opposed to the, the first two? Uh, I, mean, I feel like we, the ball is just rolling now. You know, you know, we're just playing very efficient. You know, we're taking practices more critical. Uh, we're preparing a lot better than what we have been. You know, I feel like the offense and defense, you know, the special teams as well, we're very much prepared for this game. And, you know, the first, the first two games we played, you know, maybe like you said, you know, hostile environment here, first away game, top 10, top 25 team. You know, it's good for us, you know, going, especially going into the next week playing top 10 team. So, Zach, what did you think of uh, Brandon Bigelow's performance? Bigelow did an amazing job, you know, and uh, I hope he, I was wishing that he broke down one in the special teams, but uh, he did a great job, you know, make guys miss uh, so fast, so electric. You know, he had that, that burst that most guys don't have, you know what I mean? So, uh, he did a huge job for us today, and, you know, he put on, put on a claim today. Were you able to get a, a vantage point of, his, those, those two spins he had to keep his balance around the corner. You were, you were trailing, I guess. Yeah, I was trailing. I just didn't want anything crazy to happen, you know. And he was, like you said, he was spinning. You know, when guys spin, one guy flies out of anywhere and hits the ball just randomly. They could fly anywhere on the field. So I just want to make sure if the ball popped out, so they're able to get on it. But, you know, he's an amazing athlete. He made something out of nothing. And got down the sideline and it's gone. Zach, uh, at the end of the first quarter, you got knocked out for a play. Did you just get the win knocked out of you, or what yeah, happened? Yeah, just you know, traditional win knocked out. You know, close school with PB ball, PB right in the stomach. I, got, I couldn't see for a little bit. I was like, eh. but you know, we have this in football, so it was a great hit by him. You know, and I just got the ball out faster. So it wasn't the guy in the back that hit. There was a guy behind you that looked like he gave you four. Yeah, 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 I, I really, but yeah, four in the back. I think it was hit in the stomach. So hit in the stomach. Okay. He put me, he put me down. Things could have fallen apart after that sequence. How, how, how were you guys able to keep your composure going today? Uh, composure was great. Like I said, we were very prepared. You know, all the guys were calm. You know, we, we had a sense of motion, a sense of urgency as well. Uh, and, you know, it was just one play. And I told the guys I was cool. I just got knocked out and knocked out of breath. You know, and, you know I laughed it up with them, joked with them a little bit. So I'm going to get back in the field of things and it worked out. What was the feeling in the huddle as, as it became obvious that you had a legit chance to win late in the game? The feeling was great. You know, we just had to, we scored that one, that last touchdown, put us up by one. You know, we have, you know, we have to score again. You know, defense gonna get us the ball back. We gotta score again. I told the guys, don't let up now. We gotta score two, at least two more touchdowns to win this game. It's unfortunate how that happened. How much was said at halftime about cleaning up the penalties? Because it cost you, I think, what could have been ten points in the first half. Exactly. Uh, you know, I mean, that's just how the game goes. You know, guys, are, like, especially playing a team like this, a hard fall team, it's gonna be a lot of collision. A lot of guys gonna be holding. A lot of guys want to do a lot of dirty things, but you know, it's just just getting away with those things, you know. And uh, you know, we have bonehead penalties, you know, I, I told the offense we gotta stop doing those things. Just hurts only hurt this morning, you know what I'm saying, this game. So I mean, we got a lot of big plays. It's just unfortunate how it developed. In the running game, you got the big plays from uh, Brendan. Uh, CJ caught the ball well, and EC was really just churning out yards play after play. What do those three guys give you in combination with one another? Oh, great dynamically. You know, CJ's a bruiser. Put, puts the pass.
Jazz on guys, you know, slows them down. And, you know, like you said, with Bigelow, he's so fast. You know, you got to account for him, Duke as well. And DC, he makes anybody miss. You know, it was, it's a great combination where we got those guys. You know, and it's, a, it's a tight nucleus with those three guys, and they, they all think the same way. You know, they all communicate very well. You know, and they play a good job, and they run the game. It's very effective, and they help the pass game. Very good.